sometimes in Fusion, you're going to want to create copies of your surface so that you can trim and make adjustments and compare. So if you'd like to create a copy of this entire surface body, let's go look at it. This is all one stitch together surface body. So how do we make a copy of that? The first way to do this, you can simply select the body, right click on it, choose copy, right click, choose paste, and then it's going to bring up the move copy command. So it's just saving you a few steps by doing copy paste, but it's still just using this move copy. Click OK. You now have the same surface body copied in and you have that in your body's folder. Now, very similarly, like I just mentioned, if you go to move copy command, choose bodies, select your surface body, make sure you have create copy checked and click OK, you'll get a copy of that surface body. Pretty much exactly the same as using the copy paste method. Now, one other method we can use is offset. If we go up to offset and we select the entire thing, we can select the entire surface body over from the body's folder, or you could have selected all the faces and then choose zero for the distance click OK, this will create a brand new surface body that happens to be the same as the other. I like that technique. I use that one a lot. Now there's one challenge I want you to be aware of. Sometimes you're going to want to make a copy of one surface face. So this face, for example, or this one, I'd like to get a copy of that. If you go to move copy and choose face, unfortunately, this fails because for some reason, I still don't understand why um, you don't get a copy option here. You can move it and a change where this is solving, but you're not making a copy. I'm going to hit escape. Now, the easiest way I know to do this, go to offset just where we were a second ago, the orange surface offset, choose the face that you have in mind. Chain selection probably needs to be turned off. If it's on, it will grab anything that has tangency connecting it to other faces. This one does have tangency and it selects everything. It's not what I wanted. So I'm going to make sure that this chain selection is off, select the face I want, choose zero for the distance, click OK. We now have this surface face here. So if I hide the original surface body, there's our surface face that we just got a copy of using offset. Nice little technique. Why don't you be aware of we're making our way through the surface tools now in Fusion. I'll see you in the next video.